Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Chaos Child. We had a rough time having to move out, but now that we've made something of a home of this new apartment complex, things might be looking up. After breakfast, I used my Pokecom to look for information on the murders. I'd been too busy lately to check, but I was sure there must have been some developments. I still hadn't been able to go to the police about Serica. I probably should have told Shinjo already. Er, we didn't? <laughs> what? But... I just couldn't figure out why Serica would do something like that. Kurosu had said she'd done it for me, but if that was true, then it meant that I was basically the one who'd killed Yui and Dad. Was it okay to make Serica suffer for that alone? And why did Serica think that's what I wanted anyway? Was that really what I had wanted? No, that was impossible. I... Kurosu had been playing with the role of fabric. カラーボックスのところに、カーテンがあった方がいいと思って。ほら、食器とかむき出しだと埃かぶっちゃうでしょ。それからこっちはドアのブッドティッシュのケース。こういうちょっとしたものでもあるだけでお部屋の中が明る
So at best, we would have been in upper elementary school, maybe, or the last year of elementary school. I thought she was created during the earthquake. So that... Was she lying to us? <laughs> and of course, Erika's parents don't exist. The closest thing she has to a parent is us. Yeah, and this was the whole awkward thing where we never met her parents, but we've heard that she has a bad family situation because it makes us feel better about ourselves because we had a bad family situation. I was stunned. Sarika and I had been together for years, but I didn't know anything about her parents or her house. They'd never come to the school field day or parent-teacher meetings. She never talked about them and I never brought it up. But they should have at least come up in conversation a few times. I didn't even remember that. In fact, I didn't even have any photos of her from when she was a kid. That is creepy. Yeah, at this point we don't know that we created her. November 11th, Wednesday. Katsuko Momose smiled as Takeshi Shinjo came into her office. Shinjo was unconsciously patting his belly with his left hand. He was nursing a nasty upset stomach. Momose pointed at the TV where a news show was doing a panel on the murders. You could probably find the same topics on every channel. しかし by the way, can I just say one thing that concerns me? We may have nothing to worry about, because Shinjo said, like we heard from Shinjo himself, that Sakuma is dead, and sure enough, we have to move out and everything. I'm just not satisfied with a game like this until we've seen the body, you know? Just like the commentator on TV had said, the public had already turned against the police. Shinjo and the rest of the force's reputation was in the gutter. No, he'd be lucky if it was just damage to his reputation. At some point, he'd probably be asked to resign. あんた問題は今まで伊藤君本人が固くなに自分が犯人だと主張してたからこそ一家も取り合っていたんですが、久野里さんから彼が洗脳状態だったという最終報告が出た。Well, that's the thing. That that's what it is weird about the people who are getting mad about him being wrongfully arrested. He clearly killed Yui. I mean, brainwashed or not, but you'd think that the general public would not expect brainwashed to be an excuse. 
過去の事件の微細証拠物件と伊藤君の DNA を照らし合わせると伊藤君を犯人とするには噛み合わない部分が多すぎる。What is microscopic evidence? It's analyzed with tools such as gas chromatography and electron microscopes, primarily used to refer to things like DNA, hair, fingerprints, blood, semen, footprints, and tire tracks left at a crime scene. Microscopic evidence is admissible in a court of law. Edmunds Locard, 1877 1966, who was known as the Sherlock Holmes of France, formulated Locard's Exchange Principle, which says that every criminal will both bring something into a crime scene and take something away. This principle became the foundation of modern forensic science. でも保釈だなんて思い切ったわねもしことが公になってマスコミがそのことを嗅ぎつけでもしたらそれこそまずいんじゃないのその懸念でしたら当面は大丈夫かとというと伊藤君はまだ病院に入院中ですから保護観察中に見えるはずですああだいぶ良くなりましたがまだ脳に異常な負荷がかかっているのは事実です異常な負荷ね俺には専門的なことはよくわからないんですが以前はとても正気を保っていられないような数値だったそうで It's crazy that the person who brainwashed him is dead I'm just concerned about the whereabouts of his machine うんまあそんなわけでこれ幸いとばかりに面会謝絶ってことにしてますなるほどねついでだから新庄ちゃんもちょっと入院してくればん相当疲れてるみたいよ休んでないでしょ確かにせめて人間ドックにでも新庄 rubbed his stomach without laughing his phone went off in his pocket he took out his phone and looked at the name on the screen よしろくんだあらもしもし新庄だがどうした何かあったのか It seemed like he wasn't going to get that physical anytime soon Is this gonna be the big information dump? I hope so いらっしゃお主か I love the smile turned to the triangle like eh I went to the place Shinjo suggested and was greeted by the same rude waitress as always こっちかい,いやその待ち合わせを I looked around and saw Shinjo in the back he was looking out the window and rubbing his stomach they keep mentioning that he's rubbing his stomach I don't like this I nodded to the waitress and went to sit with him ああ来たなそのこの前はどうもお世話になりましたああそういうのはいいそれより話ってのは Even now I wasn't sure if I should tell Shinjo about Saraka Shinjo frowned こっちとら商売繁盛でね仕事が山積みで正直時間が足りないんだよこうして過ぎていく一秒一秒の積み重ねだって惜しいわけなんだがすすみません I looked at Shinjo's cup and saw that it was filled with milk. From the way he was rubbing his stomach, he might be feeling sick. I couldn't call him all the way out here and then just tell him it was nothing. But how to ask? He looked at me appraisingly. A moment later, he shook his head a little. He'd grown a little chin stubble. Kimi to Onoe san no aida ni nani ga atta no ka wa yoku shiranai ga. Ochira mo tsui sen jitsu, Okami shonen ni koppi doku itame tsuke rale ta bakari da. Liyu mo nashi ni keisatsu o ugo kase to wa iwarete mo na. A boy who cried wolf. It was obvious who he was talking about. I've seen on the news that Ito had suddenly switched to proclaiming his innocence. The festivals had continued on Achan's news board ever since the first report, and the threads were still popping up even now. I could imagine that things were tense at the police station right now. So you know, a Honlai, Tampe, or a Koshin Joni Tanomubeki Kotodaro? So they were, so, Oshar Tori Dato Mimas. 
だったら理由くらいは話してもらおうか<笑> At least tell me why Well, she killed everyone What should I do? Even if Shinjo did look into Sarika without asking me any questions If he found something, the result will be the same But I still couldn't bring myself to tell him from my own lips that Sarika might be the killer <sighs> しょうがないな Shinjo saw that I wasn't going to say anything and sighed Oh, I was looking at it from the other perspective. He's already screwed, so he can't go any lower. Just do it. Yeah, see, there you go. ただし、もしそれによって何か疑わしいことが出てきたら、止められるという保証はないぞ。それでもいいんだな。I could tell from the way he spoke that he wasn't joking. はい。There was no turning back now. I said it aloud so that I could hear it too. Oh boy. ただいま。あ、お帰り。Kurosu welcomed me with a smile when I opened the door. Yuto was sitting at his desk doing schoolwork. Yamazoi seemed to be studying too. Both of them looked up at the same time. I'd lived with other people at Aoba dorm, but we'd all had our own rooms. It felt a little weird to hear welcome home as soon as I walked through the door. But it wasn't a bad feeling at all. I handed Kurosu the ingredients for dinner that she'd asked me to pick up before I left. Kurosu didn't ask where I'd been going when I left, but I was sure she could guess. She probably wanted to know how it had gone, but she wasn't asking for my sake. <laughs> Yuto stood up when he heard the word snacks. His face broke into a huge grin when he saw the value sized pack of. Yat cats? Is that like a Kit Kat thing? in Kurosu's hands. Well, there you go. And I hope she does, because didn't he offer chocolate twice to her when he first met her? And she was like, oh, okay. <laughs> the two of them sat down at the desk and began to study even harder than before. もうダメよ、タクル。この先私たちの生活もどうなるかわからないんだから無駄遣いしちゃう。分かってるけど、タカがチョコレートだろ。タカがの積み重ねがそのうち大きく。And she would know. Kurosu stopped and shook her head. うん、そうね。タクルの言う通りかもしれないわね。何事もダメダメじゃ、息が詰まっちゃう。it seemed like she'd changed since she'd come here. I was going to say that, but I stopped. When she smiled, it was a little more peaceful than the smile I was used to seeing. Maybe I'd thought I'd known everything about Kurosu, but I hadn't known anything at all. I got the call from Shinjo that night. We have no record of her whatsoever from before school. After I heard what Shinjo had to say, I staggered back to the apartment. When I arrived, Kurosu had just gotten out of the bath and was drying her hair with a towel. Takuru? 
どこ行ってたのお風呂から上がったらいなくなってるからちょっと心配しタクルおのえが I couldn't say the rest of it. Yuto and Yamazoe were asleep, but I didn't want to talk about it in front of them. Takuru? Kurzu stood up, slowly walked over, and held me tight. She slipped her hands around my back and patted me gently like a child. It felt like she'd been doing this all the time lately. But for now, I just wanted to let her do it. Kurzu. Onoe ga. Onoe wa. Shinjo had seemed reluctant when I talked to him, but he'd acted fast after I left. The police must have been getting desperate. They wanted to make up for the mistake they'd made with Ito as fast as possible. Shinjo had persuaded his superiors and gone to search Serika's home. What he'd found there was... Oh, my phone? Did he get all the stuff? Absolute darkness, both concerning her and everything about her. Did he find my phone? That's what he said. There were signs that Serika Ito had lived there. What? What? Serika Onoe, surely. But there were no signs of her parents. There was, however, a body? Did she kill Sakuma at home? It was the body of the person who had originally lived there. Wow, okay, I, I was wondering how Serika got a place to live. But when we went there in the normal path, this wasn't addressed. That's not. Does that mean she's just been living with a body? That doesn't even make sense. Serika had killed the home's original owner, hid the body, and taken their place. It hid the body at home, though? That's what he'd said. I wanted to tell him he must be joking. I wanted to scream that he was lying. I was the one who'd asked him to do it, and to some degree had expected this. But hearing the truth felt like someone was cutting out my heart with a knife. <laughs> What? Wait, what? How, what how, well, how do we get to this? I realized clearly. My home was here. This was where my heart belonged. Here with Yuto and Yamazoe and... Arigato. Oh my god, it took, like, the entire game and multiple alternate paths to finally get him to say it out loud. <gasps> when I finally said her name, she just nodded without saying a word. I'd only eaten a few hours ago, but the delicious smell was making me hungry again. Nono was in the kitchen, hey, there we go, making a cake with Yuto and Yamazoe. It just kills me that this is an alternate path. Because, like, this this is... I don't know if the alternate paths are non-canon or what, but it, it's killing me that this is when we finally say no, no. I was leaning up against the wall and half-heartedly watching them. My head was still filled with thoughts of Serika. Shinjo had asked me to meet with him this morning. He'd had all kinds of questions. How did I find out that Serika Onoe was involved in the case? Where was she now? Who was she anyway? Shinjo said that her family registration itself was fake, and he told me more. Yet where is she now? There was no sign that she'd ever existed until the time of the Shibuya earthquake six years ago. That was impossible. I remembered spending time with her. But that was when she was imaginary. I could... Oh, I wonder if... I wonder if that's it then. Did we, like, kiss our imaginary friends so it never happened for real, but she was in her head so she believed it was real and then she became real? Eh? 
I could clearly remember going to A.H. General Hospital to look for Amy with her, and finding Senri Minamisawa in the middle of an experiment. And I knew for a fact that Senri Minamisawa had been down in that facility before the earthquake. If she didn't exist, then what were my memories? But nothing I gave the police ended up being any real help. And... There still wasn't a warrant out for Serika's arrest. It made sense, given what had happened with Ito. They probably decided they couldn't risk treating another minor as the killer and getting it wrong again. There was also the question of where Serika came from. If she had no family registration, then she practically didn't exist. And you couldn't prosecute someone who didn't exist. And on top of all that, there was the fact that the rest of the world still didn't know about the Gigalomaniacs. They were probably being as careful as possible. I said her name in my mind. She had been with me forever. She'd always taken my side. And she'd done all those terrible things for me. But then, just who was she? はい、準備オッケー。これで後は出来上がるのを待つだけですかそうよ。簡単でしょ。ねえねえ、どのくらいで出来上がるのそうね、1時間くらいかしら。1時間か。そうだ。ただ待ってるのも退屈だし、せっ
oh, I, I, now I've injured myself. You're going to owe me a billion jillion yen. Too bad for you. Also, I love the rolling of the R's from these gangster types. The R, like that kind of stuff. For, I don't know why it is that those people in particular are stereotyped as doing that, but it's just fun to hear. I could see an ice cream stain on what was undoubtedly an expensive jacket. Oh, that actually does suck. This isn't even one of those scam things like in the sub-stories in Yakuza. Like, this is actually a real problem. Wow, this sucks. His accent was so thick that it was hard to tell what he was saying, but evidently it wasn't going to be enough to pay for the cleaning cost. Nono looked at me pleadingly. The scary man's eyes followed her gaze to look at me as well. I could see that there were scars on his face. He must have been really strong. How is this gonna work? This is the final negative delusion in the game, and it's just squaring off with a Yakuza? I staggered back and fell on my butt. There was no way a normal kid like me could take on someone like this, because we haven't been, uh, put to the test by Sakuma, where we could just crush things with our minds. Oof, this is another repeated Yakuza substory, and it's very unpleasant. <laughs> wow. This has nothing to do with Serika. We just bumped into a Yakuza and now it's all over. <laughs> what the hell was that? Everyone was gone before I could stand up. Wow, that's just it. I was powerless. Afterward, I didn't have the energy to do anything. Time passed with nothing happening. How long had it been since then? Is this a bad end then? Oh, Taku! We're just back at the RV. Wow! What, what is that voice? Did years go by or something? As we stood there holding our bellies in hunger, a big black car pulled up. The tinted windows rolled down, making a pleasant mechanical noise. Inside, I could see a woman in garish makeup, but with an elegant air about her. Oh my god. Wait, she became the boss? What? The woman looked at me. She tossed a thick brown envelope out of the window. It landed on the ground. The window rolled up again and the car drove away. This is some ending. But I knew. 
That was my long lost stepsister, Nono Kurosu. That is weird. So our delusion let years go by and then we just had a weird end? Of course, that only ever happened in old movies. It was stupid to think about. Wuh, alright. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm gonna reload. That was something. I'm gonna take a more pleasant path, I think. Hooray! <laughs> Look at that, everybody. We got every delusion in the game. Nono devoured the ice cream and went right for the cone. She looked like she was in a state of ecstasy. She looked longingly at mine. <laughs> is this what this is going to turn into? None appeared into my eyes, her cheeks flushed red. She was fidgeting and rubbing her thighs together. It was kind of a turn on. What? My heart skipped a beat. I stopped licking the cone and gulped down my saliva. Yeah, so I was thinking, but of course we're not going in that direction. Nono looked at it and poked her tongue out. The pink flesh poked longingly through her pretty lips. I love how the kids are just here. It's like, what is this? <laughs> That's what I said. That was... was that... was that okay? But Nona was practically begging for it. <laughs> she gave me a seductive smile and brought her face close. Then she licked it with the tip of her tongue. Jeez. God damn. Her tongue moved from the tip down across the rest of it. Jeez, should I have gone for this one first? This is more uncomfortable. Her eyes were looking up at me from below. I saw her tongue flick seductively for a moment before her tiny mouth swallowed the whole thing. Ah, oh, come on! Jeez. A smooth, clear liquid dribbled from her mouth. Her tongue flicked about and wrapped around the whole thing. Pleasure signals stimulated my brain one after another, and it was all I could do to stay standing. I don't know if I can. Can we end the vision, please? What? The walls of my reason collapsed. My head shook up and down. <laughs> the kids are still right here. Oh, 
ゃんと言ってくれたご褒美してあげるね Her crimson lips opened again as she slowly put it in her mouth. Oh, thank God. <laughs> She's just giving me a glare. That's great. What was I thinking about doing this in the middle of the street? Okay, well, we have made it through the last delusion, or at least delusion that I can actively choose, in the game. But for now, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We discovered information that we, the player, knew already, but Takaru is only just discovering now. We don't know anything about who Serika is. We still don't know that we literally created her. Although I gotta say, we did find some actual new information, which is that that apartment isn't hers. Even in the normal path, I thought that was a pretty lavish place for her to live. Turns out, she just killed somebody and took over, so that's how that works. I guess. Freaking dark, but I guess it checks out. Other than that, we're on a pleasant little jaunt. Hopefully things go okay. Until next time, everyone.